manufacturing industries. Industries contributing in a growth of economies. Economies, such economies of the world, which are emphasizing over a secondary sector activities. Secondary sector activities, these are the most developed comparatively with those economies which are preferring as a primary sector activities. Now, these are the developing or either as a underdeveloped nations. India, like as a developing nation, its 70 percentage of a job opportunity is provided by the primary sector and their allied activities. So, manufacturing sector, today we will start as a classification of industries. Classification of industries. Industries are broadly classified into industries broadly classified into five categories. First, on the basis of on the basis of scale, production, on the basis of scale, production, scale, production, or capital investment. <laughs> capital investment. Investment. These industries are the cottage industries, cottage industries, cottage industries, small scale industries, large scale industries, large scale industries, cottage industries, small scale industries, large scale industries. Second category on the basis of a on the basis of ownership ownership on the basis of ownership the important categories of industries categorized as a public sector industries public sector industries private sector private sector joint sector and cooperative industries, cooperative industries, cooperative industries, public sector industries, joint sector industries, private sector industries, and cooperative sector industries, cooperative sector industries. Third, on the basis of a weight of raw material, basis of weight of raw material weight of raw material weight of raw material heavy industries heavy industries second are the lightweight industries heavy industries which are required as a raw material heavier in weight and a larger quantities like the metallurgical industries iron and steel industries they require the goods raw material at a larger in number heavy industries and lightweight industries lightweight industries are also known as a foot loose industries foot loose industries lightweight industries or foot loose industries clear fourth classification based upon a source of raw material 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 important categories are agro based industries agro based industries second mineral based industries third forest based industries forest based industries fourth maritime m a r i t i m e maritime industries marine industries marine industries Marine industries and last 
pastoral based industries pastoral industries in ninth standard you learned in a history as a pastoralism pastoral industries of india raw material from animals clear pastoral industries pastoral industries and last category on the So these are the basic major classification of industries. Major classification of industries. First, as on the basis of a scale of production, small scale, large scale, cottage industries. So let's just start the discussion regarding as all these categories in detail. All these categories in detail. Let's start from the first on the basis of a scale. On the basis of scale, or production, or a capital investment, we can categorize the industries into the three categories. Cottage industries, small scale industries, large scale industries, large scale industries, large scale industries. <laughs> Cottage industries, small scale industries, large scale industries, large scale industries. Capital investment capital investment those industries which require which require industries which require industries which require less than 20 lakhs of a capital investment are the cottage industries these are the cottage industries less than less than 20 lakhs of a capital investment required for a production 20 lakhs towards the one crore for a small scale industries and more than the one crore for the more than one crore capital investment required for a large scale industries large scale industries large scale industries clear second nature of a labor nature of labor nature of labor unskilled workforce which is familiar to the Transfer of skills from generation towards the next generation are desirable for a cottage industries, especially as a, those skills which are transferred from a one generation one generation towards another generation towards another generation one generation towards another generation such kind of a labor force desirable for a cottage industries. But did it's uh, for a cottage industry, it's not required as a professionally qualified. That's why we marked here the unskilled labor. Next, as a small scale industries require skilled workforce. Skilled workforce. Small scale industries require skilled workforce. Skilled workforce, which is superior at their fields of a manufacturing of goods are desirable for a production. They are desirable for production. They are desirable for production. Third, large scale industries require skilled and unskilled both. Skilled and unskilled workforce both require for the, require for large scale industries. For example, 
in iron and steel industries skilled workforce required for a running of a machines and unskilled workforce required for a mining processes for mining processes for mining processes clear skilled unskilled both kind of a labor is a desirable for a production in a large scale industries markets after the production after the production cotton industries their products are consumed in a local areas in a village or its in a surrounding areas cotton industries their products are consumed products are consumed in a that particular village or either the surrounding regions cotton industries small scale their goods are consumed within a country small scale industries their goods their goods consumed within a country within a country and large scale industries their goods it can be go towards the other nations that's why these industries large scale industries are also known as a large scale industries are also known as a multinational companies mncs multinational companies in a previous class we discussed as a fort located in a california which is as an example of a large scale industry which obtaining their raw material the machine parts from a different countries and assembled in a fort of us fort of us clear so large scale industry their goods are consumed within a country or a different nations of a world different countries of a world different countries of world example mat and basket making cottage industry cottage industries are also known as a household industries household industries especially as a family members are used for manufacturing of goods so these industries these industries produce manufacturing of a making of mats m a t s basket making in a tribal areas in tribal areas pickle preparation pickle preparation preparation pickle preparation etc small scale industries examples small scale industries their examples small electronic items electronic items electronic items stationery stationery confectionery flour and rice mills flour and rice mills spare parts spare parts of machines spare parts of machines vehicles are categorized under the small scale industries which are require as the require as a skilled workforce large scale industries cotton textiles iron and steel industries oil refineries oil refineries cotton textiles automobiles 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 etc till there are any questions so first classification based upon a first classification of a industry is based upon a production capital investment or a scale as the cottage industry small scale industry and a large scale industries and large scale industries till there are any questions otherwise we will proceed towards the next as a nature of a labor as a in a cottage industries generally as a unskilled workforce as a desirable but such workforce is a required which can be as a move which can sorry which can manufacture the goods or transfer the skills from a generation to worth generation they are not required as a professionally qualified workforce cottage industries the household industries but the small scale industries require as a skilled workforce for manufacturing of a electronic appliances skilled workforce is desirable in a large scale industries as a skilled and unskilled both kind of a laborers are required in a larger in number larger in number for example the production of a 
cotton in a agriculture fields unskilled workforce required for a manufacturing of a cloth they require as a skilled workforce to running of the machines clear yes is that is that clear diksha next as ashin uh markets cotton industries are basically produce the such goods which are consumed in our localities in what particular village or in their adjoining areas adjoining areas they are consuming as a those goods which are produced in a cottage industries small scale industries their goods are consumed within a country goods consumed within a country and where as the large scale industries their goods it can be as a sell within a country or in a different nations of a world so the, that's why the large scale industries are known as a multinational companies mncs multinational companies about which as a mncs we will discuss in a globalization of economics clear ashin clear any other questions any other next category next classification of industries based upon ownership based upon ownership public sector industries industries which are controlled managed and administered by the control managed and administered by the government and its agencies government and their agencies aim to social welfare aim to social welfare aim to social welfare are known as a public sector industries they are known as the public sector industries example example bhel bhel bharat heavy electrical limited bharat heavy electricals limited in previous chapter we discussed as the example of a steel steel authority of india limited steel authority of india limited steel authority of india limited another example bsnl bharat sanchar nigam limited bharat sanchar nigam limited all these are the public sector firms which are work for a welfare purposes which are work for the welfare purposes welfare of people welfare of people these are directly managed by the government and its agencies bharat sanchar nigam limited bsnl bharat sanchar nigam limited when we compare as the plans of a bsnl bsnl as compared to the reliance or airtel these are as the cheaper cheaper now the next private sector industries industries which are controlled managed by the individuals or group of individuals individuals or group of individuals are private sector industries their prime objective as to earn maximum profits private sector industries are work for to earn profits to earn profits example reliance textiles airtel reliance textiles airtel airtel tesco t i s c o tata iron steel company godrej godrej and dabur industries bombay dyeing bombay dyeing etc are the private sector industries which are work for the bajaj and dabur industries and dabur industries dabur chaman prash bajaj chetak bajaj scooty clear these are the private sector firms which are work for a these are work for the yes bajaj auto bajaj vehicles which are as a manufacture private sector industry private sector industry work for a motive of a 
or to earn the profits to earn profits to earn profits clear to earn profits next third are our joint sector industries joint sector industries these are those industries which are jointly operated by jointly operated by jointly operated by public and private sector private sector public and private sector in which government responsible for government responsible for availability government responsible for availability of goods whereas the private companies are responsible for private sector responsible for distribution private sector responsible for distribution of goods distribution of goods example oil oil india limited oil india limited this agency agency of a government purchasing as a goods from a different countries from opec industries crude oil has imported and their impurities are separated in a oil refineries afterwards their goods are given to the hp or a bharat hp or bharat for a distribution among the people distribution among the people clear joint sector oil punjab state electricity board punjab state electricity board punjab state electricity board in which as a punjab government responsible for availability of a power availability of electricity and a companies private company pspl is responsible for the distribution among the sections of society earlier as a government when it handled as a electrical department it was given as a electricity electricity at the low cost to the people that's why we mark here the welfare works for a welfare purposes but later in stage now as services are improved as per the prices of a per unit of electricity also increase per unit power supply their prices their service charge also increase it is as now categorized under the joint sector joint sector where public and the private sector are collectively works fourth are cooperative industries cooperative sector of industries those industries which are work for a mutual benefits industries work for mutual benefits industries which are work for mutual benefits are the cooperative sector industries these are the cooperative sector industries these industries are owned and operated by the those people these industries are owned and operated by those people who produce and supply raw materials who produce and supply i am again repeating as a those industries these are the those industries which are owned and produced by owned and operated by the those people who produce and supply raw materials supply raw materials supply raw materials to market to market for manufacturing of finished goods manufacturing of finished goods manufacturing of finished goods they put their resources they put their resources together to run an organization to run an 
organization for example amul amul at the early ages it was started in a villages of a gujarat where the rural women they collected as a milk and supplied towards the adjoining areas but now as a presently presently as a amul it becomes as a multinational company their goods are exporting towards the 17 nations of world it's yes, very good garima sugar industry in maharashtra sugar industry in maharashtra is also another another example khadi khadi udyog khadi udyog also categorized under a cooperative sector khadi bhandar udyog 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 the word which has extracted from the hindi vocabulary khadi bhandar udyog which has now as known for the known for the pure cotton clothes cotton clothes such clothes are manufactured by the cooperatives of rural areas cooperatives of rural areas clear next as a lijjat papad lijjat papad of maharashtra lijjat papad lijjat papad of maharashtra earlier started in a form of a cooperative sector in which the women of a maharashtra they they make as a papads which now as a becoming as a large scale industry is very good garima coir coir industry in a kerala in kerala mother dairy amul verka sugar industries of southern india southern india khadi bhandar udyog lijjat papad all these are the examples of a cooperative sector industries cooperative sector industries till there any questions cooperative sector industries next are next is a classification of a classification based on a classification of industries based upon their role role in economy or a type of product role in economy or a type of product first are the basic industries basic industries like iron and steel industries those industries those industries which are supportive for the growth in a other industries location of other industries are the basic industries basic industries are also known as a key industries k e y key industries it is a one on which other industries are depend basic industries or key industries are those industries on which the other industries are depend example iron and steel industries iron and steel industries their goods are used in a different industries for a manufacturing of goods for example in machinery as a iron require for a setting up the infrastructure building up buildings for which as a rods require which is manufactured through the iron and steel industries basic industries are the key industries which are supportive which are support sorry these industries are are supportive for growth in other industries for growth in other industries these are the those industries which are supportive for the growth in other industries other industries example cotton textiles also cotton textiles they just only as a manufacture the manufacture the spindles of a cloth spindles of clothes such cloth purchased by the clothes purchased by the companies they are cutting such clothes into the shirts in trousers in blazers afterwards the stitching they are selling towards a market cotton textiles categorized under the basic industries iron and steel industries copper smelting centers aluminum smelting all these are the example of a basic industries which are supportive for the supportive for the growth in other industries next are the consumer goods industries consumer goods industries 
based upon a their role the role in a market in economy consumer goods industries industries which produce the goods for direct consumption means their goods can it can directly consumed by the consumers for example when arman purchase arman purchase as a bread directly from the bakery bread from bakery as a consumer good bread can directly consume cosmetics used by the cosmetics used by the prabnur cosmetics used by 